what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm installing this wig and i'm styling it if you would like to see how i got this product just keep watching all right y'all so i received this wig from all of hair they sent me this unit and it came with a wig cap but this is a unit i got a 24 inch body wave wig it is a 13 by 4 unit look at that shine look at the bounce um i believe the lace is transparent it definitely melted very well but yeah this is the wig super nice it's 150 density i think i said that but yeah let's just get into the install so i did pluck this unit but it did come pre-plucked i just wanted a more you know a more natural look so here I'm clipping the hair back away from my face so I can have a clear workspace when I lay the wig. Here I'm just cutting off the ear tabs so that the wig can fit comfortably around my head and then do this on both sides. I did add some powder foundation to the lace just to tint it a little bit. Um, usually I have to do this with transparent laces just because, you know, they come a little lighter, but yeah. Here I'm using my bowl hold, you guys already know. This is one of my favorite glues. But I did three layers of glue on this wig and I usually don't, but I needed it to last for like Valentine's Day and stuff. But yeah. So I did three layers, you know, you're going to spread it out real thin, then let it dry clear and add the other layers and do that over and over. So that's what I'm going to do here. Here I'm just pressing the wig into place, into the glue, trying to get a nice flat melt. I'm going to use this elastic band and wrap it on my hairline and let my wig sit for a good 20 minutes. Now I cut the lace with my razor that I always do, but I didn't get a good angle for real, so it's a little choppy here, but you guys see I do this in every video. This is always how I cut my lace. I just cut around the perimeter, sprayed some even, and yeah. Here I'm mapping out the baby hairs. I wanted a deeper side part. So, you know, I'm pulling out the baby here. This was like trial and error, you know. We always have to just map it out, pull some out, start playing with it. Like, make it look like how you're going to lay it to make sure the baby hairs look how you want them to look. Um, I tend to like my baby hairs more on the thin side. So, this is what I'm trying to achieve. But, yeah. <laughs> So when I cut my baby hairs, I tend to cut 
the sideburn right where my ear ends, my earlobe ends, and then my baby hairs where my eyebrows, like right above my eyebrows. I don't like them too long or too short. I feel like that's the perfect like mapping. And then if you want it shorter, you just cut it a little bit shorter. So this is how the wig looks now. It's giving laid, but I'm going to curl the ends of this hair. I'm just curling like the bottom half. And yeah, you guys are gonna watch me style this. I don't really need to, you know, tell you guys anything more. I'm just curling the hair. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright y'all, so this is the end of the video. This is how the hair came out. I ended up just curling like the ends of the hair. This is a body wave wig, so like the curl should stay. I didn't want too much body, but yeah, this is a 13 by 4 wig from All Love Hair. They sent me this unit. It's a 24 inch body wave wig. Um, I believe it's 150 density because it's not as full as it could be, so I'm assuming it's 150, but yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All the links to this will be in the description box below, and yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.